Ralph Evans his early years. We knew Ralph Evans was born on the 8th of January 1851 from his Bible and came from Carnarvon, Wales to Woodstock New, Woodstock, New South Wales and had changed his name. We also knew he had nephews and nieces in South Africa and also at Manly in Sydney. However, then, however, their name was Jones, and searching Jones in Australia is difficult and worse in Wales. However, in early 2015, I found a scrap of paper in Mum's writing saying Eunice Jones married Colin Campbell. Eunice being an unusual name was the key to my discovering on Ancestry.com of the correct Jones family tree and the correct Roberts tree in Wales. From this information and a number of other key issues, we have irrefutable proof that Ralph Evans was really Roland Evan Roberts, born 8th of January 1851 to Evan Roberts and Mary Owen in Denorick, Wales. So we're going up towards Top of the smooth hill. Is that what you said it means? Uh, it's more sort of barren hill, I suppose. Yes, yeah, barren hill. Barren right, hill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, is, uh, this is the present. Yeah, this is the present house of. Um, so we're going to walk. So Evan, your great grandfather, um, will oh, walk along here. Yeah. Oh, look at the quarry. You can see the quarry there. Can you? All oh, the we're going to get, We'll see oh, far gosh, more of it in a minute. Yeah. Through Ancestry.com, I met David and Rihanna Fear of Luriung, Wales, four miles from Carnarvon. Rihanna is a descendant of Roland's sister Anne Jones and still just lives a few kilometres from Dinorik. They had done a lot of research and I was able to furnish them unknown info and old Jones photos and likewise, they had a treasure tro trove of information f for my family tree. I stayed with them in mid-May 2015, and they took me to the areas where Roland's family lived and worked. So here at one time it had been lots of inclines going down, yeah. railways coming out, lots of uh, various buildings, um, uh, cutting the slate and uh, packing it and so on. And there's the, the railways then going down. There as well. It's uh... They picked me up at Bangor Railway Station and we drove via their home through the local villages towards the house listed in the 1861 census as the house on the Barren Hill, <coughs> where Evan Roberts lived and in a nearby house, his mother-in-law, Jane Lloyd Owen, still lived with her younger children, Mary Owen, 26, and Hugh Owens, 20. Behind the trees there. So this is Dorothy Owen's parents. Yes. Came from down there. Well, his, uh, yeah. her father came from down there. Down there, yeah. Since we can trace his family back into there. Uh, four or five generations. And they had they were farmers, were they? They had, yeah, they hill were farmers. Farm, yeah. yeah, hill farmers. Very rough, uh, rough yeah. country there. So where are we, what's this road now? Say, say that for the camera for me. The, the road? Yeah. This is uh, um, the road going up um, Nantes Paris yeah. to Penda Pass, the, uh, the pass up at the top here. It's called yeah. Penda Pass. Right. Ruins up by the large green tree yeah. in, in front, uh, on the left hand side there. Yeah, that's right there. Gunvor. That's where he was born. Yes, in 1797. There's two houses there. Alright. Up there, yeah. yeah. So this is the school that um, Roland Roberts would have attended. Um, first as a pupil, then as a pupil teacher. Yeah. And one of his so sisters... years old. Yeah. And one of his sisters was a... Yeah, I noticed I'm on the census. A pupil teacher. Yeah. Oh. 
it was Jane who was there for 10 yeah, years. Jane, yeah. Okay. Roman Devons went to Birkenhead when he was 19. Dinorick Church, which we're going to for some of the gravestones. On the way, we passed the Welsh Church yard where Evan Roberts was buried. We will return to this area on the way home. Auntie Mary. Uh, uh, Roland's auntie. Yeah. So this is Roland, the father of Dorothy. 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 The mother of, Ro of yeah. Roland or Rolf. Yeah. So Rolf's grandparents. Rolf's grandparents. And yeah. it just says, in memory of Roland Owen Spronavoy, who died May the 21st, 1852, aged 54. And also his wife who died June the 2nd, 1870, aged 75. So it's very That's an idiot. Ah. So he probably had the... Um, Down syndrome. Down syndrome. Yeah. Or... Um, so it's just his carpenter or joiner. Right. So in memory of Richard Roberts, carpenter, who died um, the 28th of July, 1854, aged 67. Oh, can you hear the we knocked on the door of the existing house on the hill. We know from early maps this house did not exist at the time of 1861. And we were invited to have a look around the property. Evan Roberts was a quarryman and worked in the nearby Dinoric Slate Quarry where they mined and made slate roofing tiles. From the eldest brother Richard, born in 1848, was a carpenter and married Mary Jane Owens, born 1856. And they went to live not far away at Birkenhead, just across the river from Liverpool. His sister Jane, 1849, married Henry Williams and later in life, in the 1890s, went to live in the US, living and dying in Virginia, USA in 1897. His sister Anne, born 1856, married David Evan Jones and three of their children went to live in South Africa and two went to live in Sydney, Australia. We know that from the school documents in Wales that Roland Evan Roberts was calling himself Roland Evans by his late teens. This is not unusual in Wales and meant Roland, son of Evan, his father's Christian name. I have his original diary from his sea trip to Australia and it is written in Welsh. David Fear is currently aiding in its translation, though it is difficult as it's old Welsh and written in pencil.